thanks again for watching our channel. Now we're going to explain the second series of uh, Sweden Mojito. This is the second uh, video of a series of three. When we're going to explain Surin no Heiho, we're going to go deeper into the anthropological and uh, etymological uh, part of the Kete. Surin, as you can recall from our early video, means uh, the watering, and Heiho, the soldier method. So it's like the method that was used in the watering. Of course, it's a metaphor. And we're going to follow to our second uh, video. The second series is called Furigaesh. Furi comes from vibrate, and Gaesh comes from return. So, Furi Gaesh can be translated as returning the vibration, and it uh, reflects the idea of defend yourself using the cut. Uh, in ancient times, one of the main differences between Bato Jutsu and Yai Jutsu was the fact that actually the draw, or Yuki, was used as a cut. So we will see during the execution of the five movement kata that actually our Nyuki is going to be really powerful and will be a strike that can cut and neutralize our enemy. Other important aspect of this kata is that the interpretation that you can achieve while you're executing it, it's, a, it's about the weapon that your opponent has. For example, the interpretation that you will reach when you are doing your kata, when you are actually doing against a yari, will be different than, for example, when you use this kata against a katana or any other weapon. It is important to understand so that we are going to return the vibration, we are going to use our first movement as a defense, we are going to cut, we are not going to open a space, we are going actually to cut and defend ourselves against the, the draw or the strike of our enemy. 